Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mum and Dad Show for episode 51. My name's Ivor wow. Butterfield. This is Claire Butterfield and this is Atticus Butterfield who has just awoken. Go back to sleep, young man. Shh. Good boy. He's Last week on the show day. we caught some shit. No, that was on the uh, on our, one of our main channel videos mm. about how we fed him. Uh, for you guys in the comment section, if you have any comments about uh, our son and how we parent. If no, suck a dude. Suck a fat cock. That's... Basically, I hope you suck a dick. Uh, choke on your dinner. Yes, um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's great. mind your business. Mind your business. It's great to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Little Dicky, uh, I've got some uh, grievances to bring up with you to start off the show. Now we've spoken about your obsession with plants, fake plants, fake plants, fake plants. Fake plants. Uh, there's also this obsession yeah. with. Uh, and I did write it. No, I didn't write it down. Uh, what were we talking about before? I've completely forgotten. Dad brain. You need coffee. Do you want me to go make you one? No, no, I'm fine. I just want to put out there to the world that I'm sick of being objectified. Okay, I'm aware. What? I'm aware that I'm a dilf. Oh. I'm sick of being objectified because I walk out there into the world and everyone sees me with this gorgeous little baby strapped to me. Yeah, and, and your height and beard. They think I'm a sex object. You know what? I've never thought about it that way. You must feel pretty attacked. I do. And objectified. I was at the gym this morning. Yep. And this old gay man walked up to me and would not stop sucking my dick. And I was so angry. I was angry and then I I finished. I was so angry. Like how dare you walk over to me and do such a thing just because I'm a dilf. Why'd you have our son at the gym? <laughs> no, he, I, he just, the guy I knew because I had the uh, baby carrier with me. I take it everywhere <laughs> just in case there's a baby that needs help. Just in case a baby needs carrying, I am there to do it. I I feel bad that you have been getting, yeah, you do get looks. You got wolf whistled at the other day when you were running, when your sports bra on. No, I, where the fuck have I ever done that? I saw you running down the road. You're running away from me. I had. The Don't look at me! <laughs> I think after, uh, if there was one cartoon character that I think you looked like the most. Um, Shrek. No, I was going to say Zoidberg. Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you said last week that I had a widow's peak. No, someone no, in the comments section. someone said I had one, not they you. Said, That's right. I wonder why that was in my notes. I couldn't yeah. remember. Someone, someone said I had section. a widow's peak and I rocked it. Yeah, they said you rock the widow's peak, Claire. I don't have a widow's peak, Caleb. What, what's a widow's peak? Exactly. A widow's peak where your hair grows down to like sure. a point. Next question. <laughs> Look at me, Claire. Look at me. Oh, my God, she does. <laughs> no, I don't. It's a hairline. What does that mean for me if you've got a widow's peak? Does that mean I'm facing death? I'm a black widow spider. Oh, nibble on me yeah, feet, you mad yeah, dog. Yeah, just nibble you. Hang, hang in me boots and nibble <laughs> me little toes when I go into them. But I don't have a widow's peak. I've got a lot of weird shit, but I don't mm, have one. Fuck true. off. Move no, it on. I don't, you don't have it. My, my brother um, has a widow's peak. You don't have it. Which brother? Rory does. Ah. Oh. All right, then. And now you know. What was your other grievance? The fake plans? Oh, no, what was it? Oh, that's right. I do remember now. It's my birthday coming up on the 14th of July and Claire has bought me many presents. Jot it down. Jot it down. 14th yes. of July, put it in your calendar. Yes. One of those presents was going to be Starbucks coffee because wherever we go in the world, we always go to Starbucks. It's our thing. If you don't We're like it, get trash. over it. And also, we go to Melbourne a lot. Yes. And we always go to Starbucks coffee in Melbourne and people are like, I it's can't delicious. believe you go to Starbucks coffee when Melbourne's got well, the best lockdown, coffee. Well, lockdown, all, all the coffee shops are shut down because of Abby Chatfield, so Chatfield's fuck fault. off. Um, what I was going to say was we go there and people blow up because we go to Starbucks. But in reality, Starbucks coffee is just as good. It's the same as all the other coffee shops in Melbourne. People go, oh, the Mel- Melbourne coffee, it's fucking, it's coffee, get over it. I have it on almond milk, so it tastes like shit anyway. The consistency is really nice at Starbucks. It's like Macca's coffee. Yeah, it, I, they I really rate it. fuck it up, don't they? I rate it. I mm. rate it. Sometimes they fuck it up and give you the wrong order, and then it ruins your life. Now, you're cracking right? me back if you're listening. Oh, crack that up! You could do oh. some ASMR for people. <laughs> you thought about starting like a TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> There's our TikToks out there where girls just <laughs> they just whisper. I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. <laughs> Is what no. Claire says to me. Um, no, I wouldn't. I'm going spew on me shirt. Yeah, I do too. I didn't take it. I didn't change it. Now, you got me yes. some Starbucks coffee beans. Now, yes. there was we have a coffee machine in this house. Yes. There was a problem, though, with the coffee machine beans. 
I, I got ground ones. I didn't would, get the beans. Yes, you didn't get the beans. And I, it was an honest mistake. Yes. I didn't. So Claire's been at me for years. I haven't. It's, it's Ye- just... Bullshit. How many have you been doing this for more than two years? My, my oh, okay, say your bullshit and then I'll correct it. Okay. Let me. I just want to get you a nice present. And I appreciate that. You might want to move your microphone out. Yeah, I was about to say that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like this? Just like scoot it, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Now the people can see your beautiful face. Back to making funnier. Yeah, um, So you dared yes. to get me ground coffee beans and people might think that that's just an honest mistake. Here's the truth. God's honest truth. Claire has been into me for years because I'm a hot dilf. No, she has been into me for years to get a, what do you even call it? Like a coffee pot? Like the American coffee, pot. American coffee pot? Yes. That sort of just brews coffee. Percolates it. It percolates. It percolates. It percolates. And I'm not against doing that. I just, we have a, we have a kettle. We have a big coffee machine that grinds up coffee and it's delicious. And it puts coffee everywhere. And Claire would prefer to have brewed coffee. So what she's done is she's bided her time or bided her time. A Joe Biden my time. She Joe Biden her time <laughs> for two years. And then she saw that the moment was right and she went for it. And she bought the ground beans and went, oh, my God, whatever will we sorry. do, Isaac? I'm so, so <laughs> sorry. And she was standing there in her, um, in her mum. Kilt. In, in a kilt. <laughs> In a family Scottish kilt <laughs> with the bagpipes on. I'm and she sorry. Said, Whatever will we do? Oh, if only we had a coffee pot that we could put these into. That I went out. I looked hard and looked everywhere for these on Amazon, and we got them. So now we ordered a coffee pot, and it's going to get here today. And you finally got your coffee. You're going to fucking love it. So now we have a coffee pot, a coffee machine, a pod machine. What else? We do don't we have? have a pod machine. I threw it out because That's we never right. used it. Pod machines, nah. So you, you reckon we should get rid of our coffee machine? When it breaks, not just get rid of it. That'd be a waste. Because it's well, a beautiful thing. It's just so messy. It is very messy. And since having a little man. Particularly because I make them one-handed in the morning. Yes, half asleep, you poor thing. Half it's, asleep. A, it's too much. I don't know. I just feel like the coffee machines, they're really good, but they just make so much fucking mess. And also, I'm drinking black coffee, so who gives a shit? It all tastes terrible anyway. That's fair. You're not frothing the milk. I'm not frothing the milk. I don't use the frother. It is nice to have a good coffee machine. I don't know. Coffee drinkers, let us know below. Do you prefer the coffee pot, the kettle, or the coffee the machine? The percolator. The percolator. the percolator. I just know I liked American coffee, and I'll get hate for that, but I did. On the topic of coffee, we, we discovered something about uh, our our new little member of our family, Pepper. Oh, Whippet. yes. Oh, I didn't, I didn't tell you this, Caleb. Oh, my God. So I have I was downstairs preparing for this podcast doing push-ups. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Shadow boxing. Shadow boxing. <laughs> Um, throwing kicks against the balls in here. <sighs> and you you hailed me upstairs. You I said, did. come upstairs, Butterfield, you mad dog. Get up here, oh. you big dilf. So Pepper has started going through our recycling bin. She's a bit of a greenie. Bit of a greenie. Gets a Macca's coffee cup, nibbles off the lid. Nibbles? Nibbles, nibbles. And then she drinks the freaking coffee. It's and this so has happened cute. every day. She's gone through the bin, got yes. the coffee out. Yes. So she's got iced coffee, or hot. Iced or hot. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter what milk, lactose free or almond. She's cool with it all. She takes oh. it on. The, she takes it on the chin, and drags it through the house, which is very annoying. It's so it's left sweet. Over. It's and so she, naughty. She loves coffee. It can't be good for her. I know that a whip that I had growing up, Patchy, R.I.P. Beautiful boy. He was a beautiful boy. He was so sweet. Um, he loved coffee. And so I haven't met a, a pooch that's no. been a coffee drinker no, since. I know. But uh, I'm going to Google She it. definitely shouldn't be having any of it. I know that. But she's only had little bits of it. But oh, she's just licking the foam off oh, the back of the so lid and stuff. so cute how she does it. But it's like she knows. She's like, oh, you're done with that latte. Oh, yeah, I'll just go through the bin. And <laughs> she loves it. Coffee. Can dogs drink coffee? A lick or two of coffee is typically isn't enough to cause dog poisoning. But if your dog ingests unused coffee, dot, Beans? dot, dot. I don't know. Let's have a look. Grounds? Um, oh, God, I'm getting ads. Oh Liquid to a coffee uh, typically isn't enough to cause poisoning, but if a, if a dog ingests unused coffee grounds or beans or tea bags, it could be serious. It could uh, cause serious toxicity. <sighs> oh, Fuck. my God. Sometimes they'll eat grass, rocks, or toilet paper or poop. 
Oh, Luke, she does Luke that does too. That. Oh, God, they so both. What do. do we do about the poop? There's nothing we can do about the poop. No. Unless you the put humping. a soft muzzle on a dog, they're going to eat poo. Every day we walk, they eat duck poo, and I know it's not good for them. Mm. But what do you do? We need to kill the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I love the ducks. <laughs> you want to commit duck genocide? No, I love all the ducks around here. Fuck a they're duck. so freaking Fuck cute. Fuck a duck, Claire. That's an outrage. I just remembered something I wanted to bring up on the podcast. Please. Yes. So y'all might remember. Yes. Kizzy. Oh. Who we worked hard to try and get a home. We did get a home. And it and worked. Can I can I air a grievance while we're... Of course you can. Go down. We darling. may as well air grievances while yeah. we're here. And I don't know if you're going to bring this up. When we got Kizzy a home, oh, some yeah. absolute legends who listened to our podcast, yes. the Mum and Dad Show, heard about Kizzy, drove down from Brisbane mm-hmm. to Newcastle, mm-hmm. like eight hours, to pick Kizzy up mm-hmm. after she didn't have a home for months and months. Mm. And then the particular rescue mob who had Kizzy, they said, oh, congratulations, Kizzy finally has a has a home after she was heard about on a, a podcast. A podcast. Not the mum and dad show available on Spotify and YouTube. No, no, a podcast. Could be any podcast. It did hurt a little bit. It was a bit fucking rude. It was a, it was a bit hurtful. Considering you talked about it for six months I, straight. I, 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 I try to get every single dog there seen on Instagram all the fucking time. And, yeah, I was a bit hurt that they didn't even mention the podcast. I was like, oh, okay. It was a bit shit. It was just a bit, yeah. They could have done better. It, yeah, it would have been nice if they did that. We're well, family friendly on here. Fuck cunts. yeah, cunts. <laughs> <laughs> now, sorry, anyway, go on what we talk about. So, anyway, so it worked with Kizzy. So, if you don't like dogs, stop listening now, but I am going to... Go back to Pornhub. Yes, I'm starting it up again because I found oh, these two boys. There's a breastfeeding just then on I your know, Instagram. My Instagram feed is just filled with Why boobs. do women post... Videos of them breastfeeding their children. Because they're powerful, Isaac, and we do it. Shut up. Jesus. Fuck. I don't know. Why, why is that powerful that you're showing your tit in your child's mouth? God, I want a coffee. Um, Hang on. Here um, we go. Your, your hot pot's coming, babe. We hot Just pot's fucking chill out. <laughs> Just brood, sister. So. Yes. There's these two beautiful Kelpie boys. Oh. And I believe they're siblings, not by blood, like they've just been living together. And they're douchebag owners. They got lost, the dogs got lost, and the douchebag owners don't want the dogs now. So these two fine, beautiful gentlemen are up for adoption. They are really, really, really cute. They're five years old, and their names are... Bear with me. God, this is brilliant television. Oh. Oh, where are they? Give me a minute, everybody. As you scroll past all the other dogs you've shared in the last 24 the, I know, hours. I share a lot. Not but even 24 hours, like 16 These hours. ones really stood out to me, guys, because they are at a pound where, and this isn't talk shit about this particular pound, but they are on borrowed time. Oh, it's a kill pound. They, well, most of them are. If I open up a pound, it'd be a kill pound. If you're in there for more than 30 minutes. You would not. You're okay. gone. So, let's see. Their 30 names. minutes for your next one's dead. Two male Kelpies, Flash and Hazel. Hazel. Looking for their new forever home. Ooh, yes. Flash is the one with the darker coat. Hazel has the lighter coat. I'll show you the photos. Yes. Um, um, they're Caleb at Mud- will put this in the. He'll put this in the um in the edit on yes. the on YouTube. So Thank you, Caleb. Well done, You're beautiful Caleb. man. So the, these two boys are at Mudgy Pound. Mm-hmm. And so Mudgy, really, which is in yeah. New South Wales, yeah. if you didn't know. I really want a good motherfucker to get one, if not both, of these guys. Mm. Because I'm not allowed, and neither's my dad, and we need to, we need to get these guys home. You're homes. not allowed, and they're so cute. You've barred yourself from having any more dogs in this house. I have with a baby. I just can't. We can't do it. But hang on, I'll zoom in. There's the, uh, uh, that's pretty good. I just zoom in. That <laughs> there you go. There's one. There's one. Who's that? Is that Zuma or, Z- or Flash? I think that's Flash. Flash and Zazzle. Sorry, no Hazel. Hazel. And there's the other one. There you go. There's Hazel and Dazzle. so these are our new kizzies. Okay, so this is who we're going to help get a home next. I know I, I sound a bit like a doddery old woman then, but I'm trying to... The post wasn't very good either, like that they put up, to be fair. Oh, I think even the post that you wrote on Instagram, because I wrote it last night because you were feeding Addie. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> the post was a bit shit. <laughs> no! Wrote I, I said, wrote it like these, you. these two beautiful boys have been abandoned and are only five years old. Let's work together to get these guys a home they deserve before their time runs out. Also, wouldn't it be lovely if they could go together? Oh. Anyway, Mudgy Pound, hit them up, find these two and give them a home. Yeah, fuck yeah. Cause, Please. You know, if you're looking at getting Please. a dog, do it uh, to someone who needs it. Is today a Pride Day? Hang on, I thought it was Pride Month. Is today the day though? Today's the day, I'm pretty sure. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, boy. I, I just... <laughs> 
like there's nothing wrong with being any of those things. Why have you got a month, you fucking wankers? I'm Get just over sick yourself. of you hearing don't, about. No one needs a month for every anything. Oh. It's like those people, you know that friend and it's their birthday and it's like the world stops. For their whole birthday I have month. to do a pre-dinner, then I have to do dinner, then I have to do a breakfast, then I have to do a family thing, then I have to do a banner, then I have to do a big party. Talking about birthdays, mine's coming up. It's actually my birthday mm. month in a couple of days. You aren't invited. <laughs> no, we're not doing nothing. No. We do have our wedding anniversary coming up. One year, can you believe that? That's coming That's around very quickly. That's got so quick. And what are we doing to celebrate a sexy wedding adventure? Disney on ice. We're going to Disney on ice for Addy. Guilty. I'm sure he's going to love it. If he's I think asleep he through will. the whole thing, I will spew. I think he'll like 10 minutes of it, cry, and then sleep. <laughs> and then we'll probably leave. But I want to get a cup that lights up. Don't get me wrong. We know that he's way too young for it. Oh, yeah. We're just doing it because We want to take fun. him to it. Yeah. We want to take... We, everywhere we go, he goes. So... Yes. We, I wouldn't... It. Well, I haven't taken him to the brothel yet. As soon as I said that... We brothel, think there's a brothel up stuff. the road. Yeah, it's, it's got all I the... reckon it is. They'd have a coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of clientele that brothel gets, they would need something percolating for fucking hours. But do you want a coffee after you've just... 100%. Torn a, torn a poor Asian lady? You 100% like, you would. Wouldn't you want to go before? Mm. Like you don't want are you talking on a microphone mm. at the moment or you're just chatting in the background? <laughs> is it on? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, good. Put your headphones on. Okay, hang on. Well, I've got... I'm with child. Pay big money for it. Yeah. Hang on. I'm stinging Isaac. for a coffee. Can you t- talk again? But like, <laughs> talk <laughs> back <laughs> where you were. So if we know back. we can... I'm back. Yeah, we can hear you. Cool. Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure. Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah. Everyone just breathe. I'll just, I just won't talk. It's fine. No, no. Oh. I want you to talk. I just want you to talk on microphone, which you were, which is great. Everybody... <laughs> now take your voice. shirt off. <laughs> Quick. Please. Now, we were talking before the podcast about um, like the NDIS and care. About how I need it. About you needing it. <laughs> mm. But like... It's something that we've spoken about a fair bit, Claire and I, about yeah. how they should have just throw anyone in without. And what we're talking about here is people with disabilities, people with mm. mental uh, health issues, mm. which is a broad range of people. Because having mental health issues doesn't really mean anything. That sort of not anymore. That sort of just is everyone. It's like a blanket sort yeah. of for everything. Isn't it's it? like ninety percent of the population. So we're talking yes. real hectic issues. Mm. You know, like. Expecto Patron shit. Yeah, if you feel Voldemort's in your head, that's who yes. we're talking about. <laughs> but a part Proper of the NDIS shit. in Australia, the National Disability Insurance Scheme, and I don't know I don't why like they call anything a scheme. It's a bit off. Why would you call it a scheme? It's a bit off. Why would you call it like a program? Something service. cottage. Your service. Cottage. National Disappear. Disappear. <laughs> William Tyrrell hotline. That's what we're going to do with the disabled people. We're oh, going to disappear. No. Them. That's what they did with the homeless people back in the day in America. I remember, actually, they, we've spoken about it. They put them all on a bus and just fucking <laughs> gave them the old. Like gave, in New South Wales recently. What have you done? Oh, the bus. Claire Dixon with a bus joke. Jesus. I won't say it again. God, if you that, heard it, you're welcome. Then turn this podcast on its side. It was a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> somebody stop me. Um, so, yes, we, um, we were talking about how basically anyone can get a job looking after children with disabilities or adults with disabilities. Yes. And I find that quite outrageous. It's confronting, isn't it? It is. And I, I think you need to really be careful of who you put in, these, in control of these people's lives. 100%. Like how can you just let someone and, – and I'm not saying that the people who work there are bad people. They just mm. don't have the training to no. deal with someone in complete meltdown. And I know this because I was one of those people, mm. not in meltdown, well, somewhat in meltdown, but I was working with these people and I had no training at all. They just go, all right, good luck. Fuck. That's madness. It's wrong. It is absolute like madness. It. Even when I worked with children who had been removed from their homes because either they were too much or they were too aggressive or violent, whatever, mm. I, I, I started that job. They give you like a week's like casual training and they talk about, here's what you should do, here's what you shouldn't do. Don't touch them. Don't kiss them. <laughs> All these crazy things. Um, but no, they give you like a, a couple of days theory and then there's yeah. like a day or two of like, practical training to defend yourself from psycho children. So they treat it like a retail course at TAFE, Literally. basically. There should be months and months yeah. of training to go into this. If you want to yes. help these ki- actually help these children, mm. you need to go and, and spend adults. Them, and adults. Mm. Like, there needs to be months and months of training. I remember yes. one kid, when I turned up on shift, he was beating the shit out of this old dude. And I was like, oh, fuck. What an evening. 
They're just not. They're not equipped. Like it's mm. just. It's like we need. We need care for the carer. In a yeah. way. Yeah. And 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 I know a lot of these places okay. they have like a, like an office or a locked room that they say, listen, if he's kicking off or she's kicking off, just mm. go and lock yourself in the room. So the twenty year old girls can go and hide in there, and, and it'll be right. We've simmer known down. A couple of people in our family who have yeah. worked in these positions and with grown men. With grown men. Yes. Um, I remember uh, someone. Oh, it doesn't matter who, right? Mm. Who was working with a grown mm. man, mm. Um, and he was, and it was like far away from a home, mm-hmm. and she, it was actually also far away from the office in which she worked or where the business was located. He was a bit creepy to her, wasn't he? At one point, yeah, as there well. was some, there was some things that were said, yeah. and, it was, and we were like super sus on it. Yeah, we don't like that person anymore, but no, but we're still we're still super sus on it. Mm. And it's just like, come on, like honestly, you have to. You have to be able to pay these people correctly mm. and train them. And, and this is where the whole problem stems. Is anyone They're getting paid so well and it's attracting just random people to do the job that don't really give a shit about it. Well, it starts from the top because yeah. the people who are doing the jobs, yeah. who, who, sorry, who are starting up the businesses, they just see it as a cash cow, 100%. an easy way to make money yeah. and they can hire anyone. You don't need a degree or you don't need – and you definitely need – it's like, it's like it's if you were uh, hiring nurses – Yes. And you could just hire anyone. You'd mm. hire the fucking least trained people because you can pay them the least mm. and you can just make the cash on top. Like, it's it's not good. I don't know how we fix it. Well, you can't There's, fix it because it's fucked from the start. Yeah. Because it's like aged care. It's it's so fucking similar, yeah. all of those. It's great that it exists and yes. it's funded by the government. The NDIS in Australia is a marvellous scheme. Definitely. But the way that it's enacted is, is mm. incorrect and it needs to be rebuilt and, and, and changed in so many different ways. Because, you know, you can get funding for this kid who's schizophrenic and freaking out and running around. And then some people shit. don't get funding as well. And then some people well. don't get funding. The pick and choose to me does my head in. I remember, remember when I was getting my nails done months ago <laughs> and I days heard... Ago. Days ago. Every day. No, months ago. And there was this young mum in there and she was like sitting next to me and I like smiled at her and then she was on the phone and she just burst into tears and she was talking right. to someone on the NDIS about her two children who both had the same disability. One just got like concrete, like this is what she has, this is what she One needs. One was a concreter. No, like it was concrete that she had this. Whatever was going on, she wasn't she was The, the uh, diagnosis was confirmed. Yes. What? And, <laughs> and the, um, the lady on the other side of the phone basically was like clearly arguing with her about how it would take time and blah, blah, blah. And I just remember seeing this lady like just falling apart on the phone because she was trying to get the same care for her second child as the first one had. And it sounded like the first child wasn't like, it wasn't that much she was getting anyway. No. And I was just like, fuck, it's just wrong. And and we, we really care Those about poor this parents. because my brother is autistic and my mum has been his carer for coming up on 28 years. Yeah. And she's th- incredible. That is a, that is a life's dedication. It changes your life. Yeah. And to get to not get help and then get help incorrectly and then yes. see others getting help they maybe they don't need. Or yes. Uh, it's just f- crazy. Yes. But uh, this isn't saying that we need to change the NDIS dramatically. It just needs to have a better structure mm. around it. And I guess this is the one thing that happens in politics too is they see a problem, they just throw money at it and that's yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. If you have the posi- if you're in the position where you can just print more money and just throw it at a problem and make mm. it go away, then that's what you'll do. Mm. If you can like they should be for there should be a whole it needs more empathy. Into where they're Yeah. Like like if you've seen a kid that needs a wheelchair and you are going, Well, you need to like I know with my brother, right? Mm. He needed um I can't remember what he needed. It was some mm. sort of funding. And they mm. were like, "You need. he needs to come in here and sign his name. It's like, he can't sign his name. And they couldn't understand they that? Couldn't, they, they, like, he's extre- yeah. like, extremely autistic. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, Not Hannah Gadsby autistic. Not or Hannah Gadsby autistic, autistic, where they're wearing, like, fucking high pants oh, everywhere they me. go. Um, was that the door? No, it was my back, I think. Oh, my God. You you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're not – it's a it's a whole – It's a, obviously, autism is a spectrum. And with everyone being autistic now and everyone's like super happy about being diagnosed with autism, some of the like the actual autistic people out there get, you know, they get lumped into that group and mm. they go, oh, yeah, we'll just come in and fucking tell us why you're autistic. Like that doesn't fucking work for everybody. Yeah. And it's I know. It's like they need an empathy coach at all these places yeah. where like the big or wigs empathy that are manager. All, yes, where all the big wigs are like making all these shitty decisions. They need like a nice someone that's, I don't know, lived through it mm. and that can actually, I don't know, delegate 
things properly. Yeah, they can bring that lived experience into yes. make actual Not proper just decisions. these rich fucking old dudes who have no idea what they're talking about. Now, talking about sexy women. Oh. No. Nah. <laughs> I was really put off this morning at oh. the gym. Oh. Because there was a What happened? There was a lady who was very, very muscular, oh. wearing very, very little. Do but you she, mean you were turned on? Definitely not. Can I have some water, please? Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, but she was very muscular. And I know we, we talk about girls in the gym wearing nothing at all, nothing at all, uh, quite a bit. But Our favourite pastime. There's one. Well, there's one girl that I've noticed recently who does like, she goes in front of the mirror in front of everyone and does like the Romanian deadlifts with two dumbbells where basically you're pushing your ass out. But she doesn't have like her legs together. She has them like wider apart, so you can you actually got see her entire vagina. Wow! And, and that's why I've no been going wonder to the you're gym there so long. Four, <laughs> four times a day. <laughs> but today I saw this one girl, and she was doing deadlifts, and she was making grunting. <laughs> she was big. Right she away's was, on sale. <laughs> she was big, and she was scary, and I felt so emasculated. We actually know a girl who became a bodybuilder. She's huge, and she used to be very. It's cracking very, my back off camera. I am listening though. So yeah, bye. Uh, she is massive now. And I remember going to the gym and I hit like a bench press PR, probably of a couple of hundred kilos, who knows. But she oh, went – <laughs> that afternoon I came home and she was like pushing the, the my PR for reps. She was just pumping it out. She's definitely on steroids. Like obviously she was on steroids. Like Claire, see that um, drinking horn right there? Can you show that on the screen on the main camera? That would be her clitoris. Like it, it was just <laughs> – it was big, bad, and burly. That's oh, her. Back. Oh, What's wrong with your back? I cracked it. Sorry. We're selling these chairs, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. If you want to buy two hundred old French chairs, we're getting rid of them because they're too big and too. I love them, but they're not comfy. Where can we put them in the house? Oh, nowhere. But they're so beautiful. If, if you, you want, want them, let us know. Do you want to buy a storage shed? No, because then I'll end up being a hoarder. I know I will. I'm the perfect person for it. You are the perfect person. I'd for become a. Cr- I'd be crazier than I already. What am. would you hoard? <gasps> fucking ducks and shit. God, there's a lot of ducks. Duck fake ornaments, plants. That's fake what you'd plants. Fucking... Oh, everywhere I turn, in this house is fake plants. But I think we could we could get a storage shed. Then we could move some shit out. What shit? <laughs> no, like all my Pokemon crap and. Oh. Oh. Caleb's bullshit. Oh. His bad attitude and his microphone that's too far away. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been – Claire just said something that we can't put, them, put in the episode because uh, – on a racial rant again. You no, did not go on a racial <laughs> rant. <laughs> Joking. There was something else in notes we had to talk about before we go. Let me have a – oh, yeah. I can't remember. The, the submarine. Right. Oh, Start it off, darling. So if you don't know – about five people went to the bottom of the ocean the other day blah, and blah, experienced blah, 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 blah. what it's like to be crushed like a can of Coke. Claire, <laughs> take it away. Oh, they were looking at the Titanic in that submarine. Claire, take it away. So later that day on Play School, <laughs> children around Australia were confronted with an absolute travesty of television. Claire Butterfield, Nine News. So you, I'll what get the you, article. What happened? You, you were, can you talk about that in a normal voice so oh, people can understand you? I was trying to be funny. You Sorry. were funny. No, I'm just saying. ABC Kids lashed over Play School episode. Play School has stirred debate for bad timing of an episode which followed the adventure of two ocean explorers just hours after five were killed in a submarine. Oh, wow. So what happened in the episode? They were doing an undersea play in Jemima by the looks <laughs> of it. Jemima's in the submarine. Yeah. And they were singing songs about going under the sea and uh, under the sea. And then, and then I think there was a bit about them not coming out. Oh, yeah. And they were like looking for treasure, and they're like, they're just going to stay down here for a little. I don't know. And I, the comment section the song, was imploding. One of the song imploding. Interesting choice of words. Oh, um, I didn't mean that. Fuck. They, um, <laughs> that one of the songs they had on there was this. Um, it's a it's a song from um, Slipknot that I've never heard before. And Jemima was singing, it's like, I am getting crushed under the ocean. I can't breathe. Anyway. I loved place. <laughs> Everyone's dead um, in the, on the submarine. And Jemima isn't real. She lit. Oh. 
Out of all the things you've ever said, That's that is what you should be cancelled for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last episode after I've been cancelled for talking shit about Jemima. Um, we'll see you next week for episode 52. Uh, wow. Check us out on Spotify as well if you haven't already listened to the podcast. Please. Yeah, go and check it out. Uh, 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 and stop checking him out. We know he's a dilf. I'm a dilf. And that's the truth. Jesus See you next Christ. time. Losers. Don't forget about the Kelpies. The, Don't forget the about word. the Kelpies. Don't forget about the Kelpies. I nearly said the F word then. See you later. F words. <laughs> Love is bye. Don't forget about the Kelpies. Bye.